and we're live. Uh, <laughs> Kyle, why won't you do another FPS boot camp with Chiz or Boogie or Wings again? That would be great. Um, it's a, I don't a think, Patreon question. I, I doubt any of those people have any interest in doing that. Um, I, I would do that with Chiz if he were interested, but I, I don't think he is interested in doing that. I was going um, another. Oh, go ahead. I, I thought you were done. Is uh, it requires like medical attention? Like like I'm in no way capable of of giving him what he needs, and I, I don't want anything to do with wings. The I, there was it was a while ago, maybe a year. Uh, that there was like a push for me to do a wings boot camp. Like, ah, oh, bring him to your house, have him sure. eat better, have him work on a more regular schedule, like a whole life coaching thing. And uh, I was like, man, that's a lot of pressure. And why is it my responsibility? Like, he's he's not my kid. Like, you know, like, what's up with that? And Kyle said that he put it really well. He's like, don't you wish someone would help him? Like someone, like a higher power out there would just, like you know guide him and and do that and he says well to them that's you like you are this higher power that could coach him into you know addressing the areas that he could improve upon and uh well for me it was like a really personal thing like ah i like i have to house him and feed him and you know coach him and like crack the whip on him and put him on a schedule and all that stuff to them it's not personal at all it's just yeah you know like yeah fucking who's the the wrestler dusty Rhodes or something that's helping boogie that's one of them oh no that's diamond dallas page diamond yeah. yeah i don't know my wrestlers okay yeah so he's like don't you want diamond dallas page to go help out somebody yeah it's fuck it's nothing on my back and uh and it's, it made me realize like oh yeah to them i'm diamond dallas page who should be you know helping out other people all the time yeah you gotta keep it like, like when we did that wings redemption boot camp like you know this dude came and like moved into my house for a fucking month like like I don't know how to monetize what it would cost for me to do that again, but but it would be out fucking rageous, and it should be for anyone. Like it, it was pretty much an, a month of my life devoted to him, with lots of you know planning and forethought put into it. Um, yeah, I wouldn't do that again for it's anybody. It's a big that, ask. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's it's a real big it's ask. Big it, what is it? Um, uh, our 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 friend weighed like four hundred and fifty pounds, and we did like a I did like a boot camp where he came and moved into my house and uh, helped him lose weight for a month. And uh, our fans are suggesting that we do that again for some other people, and I'm just like, no, fuck no. We did it once, once was enough. Never again. Just like that uh, that survival trip. Never again. <laughs> never never again. I I know you liked it. I'd you, do it you, again. You, yeah. You keep on doing it, you know. You you fucking do a series of them for all I care, but uh, I, I won't be there. Um, I, I don't want any fucking part of that. I'm just gonna be honest. It was not fun. Didn't enjoy. Don't want to do that again. Uh, and I love uh, uh, when we do little events for the show. I like it better when we're meeting fans and hanging out with them, though, and not when I'm just suffering for suffering's sake. The biggest thing I change about the survival trip is the temperature. I, I, I wish it was delayed a. <laughs> That's Chiz's fault. I'm, I'm over here like, yeah, because I, I, I was totally like, hey, we should wait until, uh, you know, um, October or November or maybe something like that. And he's like, oh, it'd be cold. We don't want to be cold. And I'm like, I don't know. I, I can remember like deer hunting as a kid in October and, and, and it being like short sleeves and being sweaty when I got in the deer stand and being being tired and hot. And sure enough, like I last remember year it so being your fault. Mm mm. Yeah, no, I remember no. we were going to do it earlier and Joe Lozon was going to come and then you had a potential gig with a really high-end shotgun manufacturer and we had to delay the trip by about three weeks. Well, earlier would have been even hotter though. Would it? What, earlier was it? It was in the fall. Was it? Oh, it was in the spring in my memory. No, well, that was the first one. Yeah, it was in the fall. So, so the earlier we do it, the hotter it is. Uh, I was always about no fucking push that shit let's wait till it cools off and it gets chilly and the leaves are a changing instead we went into the woods and it was just balls hot i, I it was not hot. A, it was hot it was we were, we were drinking that that tainted tasting water now, there wasn't anything wrong with it but it, it's got a funny like rubber hose taste to pond it. water yeah i i like my, my frustration with te if i'm sweating yet not moving it's too hot Right? If I can't lay down in a hammock and not sweat, I shouldn't be outside. And it was definitely Chiz, sweat in a hammock weather. Chiz, instead of the hammock, Chiz got instead of an, a, 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 like a human-sized Easy Bake oven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor guy. Yeah, it's, like a, it's like a cot uh -huh. with like, like a camper built over around the cot. 
And it's got like a zipper that you can unzip and then there's just like mesh there. And I remember like I'm in my hammock sweating my balls off, just trying not to move at all to stay cool. And he unzips this thing <laughs> and he like moves toward the, the, the mesh so, so the light will hit his face. And he's just shining and <laughs> glimmering with sweat. He's just, he's just, the sun is glinting off of him and he's just like, oh, <laughs> It's so hot. <laughs> and I was just like, it's so hot in there, man. Why are you zipped up in there? I didn't know you were in there. Holy shit. It's like, unzip them all. Unzip them all. <laughs> it was so hot. It was like a, a solar oven. I, 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 while was, you were talking, I showed people what it looked like. It's called a tent cot, if you want to Google it on cot. later. It's great. I, it was, I think he might have borrowed mine or bought his own. I forget. One person borrowed mine, one, one bought his own. And, uh, but it's, it's not for hot weather. <laughs> that was great. I love uh, and I would love to go on an like I'm not Mr. Bear Grills any or anything over here, but I would it's love grillless. to go on some kind of outdoorsy trip with Chiz because that is like the perfect uh fish out of water story of Chiz being outdoors because he makes no bones about the fact that he fucking hates it. He doesn't <laughs> like it. He likes being inside. Like when he he hasn't had his AC going recently uh for some reason and so when me and kyle sometimes at night would be messaging him like hey chiz you want to like uh hop on a call we're playing civ or something he'd be like i can't i can't possibly turn my computer on and, and run it with the game it'll overheat and it'll just be so hot i'm already dripping sweat in here <laughs> it's like oh man like just i don't know like crack get a cold glass of water or something can't that bad. you're because i know that you're near you're in california and kyle's in georgia i'm in, I'm in missouri so so it's definitely hotter where we are yeah. And more humid. Like I, I don't know he, if he Chiz just, understands like, how ridiculous his like no socks leather boat shoes were for camping attire. <laughs> Look, I didn't want to give Chiz any shit because I love he Chiz. really don't, was yeah, yeah. A, a fish out of water uh when you take him into the Georgia uh the Woods. mountains or, or yeah. hills or whatever the fuck we were in. It was pretty mountainous back there. Yeah. But his shoes were as far away from <laughs> like like and and, and I bought these boots that came up like almost to my knee because there's they're supposed to be rattlesnakes in there. And I'm terrified we're going to get bit by a rattlesnake three hours from help or something. I look at and I'm thinking in my head, these are not snake rated boots, Kyle. You better watch where you fucking go because this might protect you against a glancing blow. But if a, a real rattlesnake bites you, it's going through this and you could fucking lose a chunk of your leg. Be careful. And then I look at Chiz. And he's got on penny loafers. He's got on these loafers. And when he takes a step, the side of the loafer, like, or like you know, on each side kind of bulges out. and makes or collapses it over. Like one side seemed to be preferred. He's one step away from like flippy floppies. You know, yeah. Out in the woods, and every time they like, they bulge like sand and dirt and leaves are getting in them. Like, 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 cause they're this. And then the, he the lifts his foot and it gets under his foot. And so he's like mushing it down and stepping it. You showed me a picture of the kind of shoes he was wearing. If you've ever seen one of those Calvin Klein ads where it's just like the front of a boat and it's a guy with the little shorty pastel shorts and the collared shirt. And he's got his feet really far apart and his arms spread. And he's got those little Sperry's on those like loafer Sperry's that you use when you're casually meandering around your boat, your sea vessel. Your yacht. That's what he was wearing in the woods of georgia which no see, if nothing else seems like a good way to there ruin no tread on they were just like flat rubber and we're climbing these but hills these it's, it's just, and it's just drudgery every step up the hill and i was in okay shape and it was and and still when i get to the top of the hill i would i would be like yep. that's a serious fucking hill man let's catch let's, Dude, let's that was part of the beauty of having walk. chiz right so i was in okay shape just like kyle i get to the top of the hill i'd be fine but if you have chiz, you don't even need to be in okay shape. You just need to be in better shape than him. Rests are coming, right? Like you, if there's that's a 20 minute walk through the woods, every 10 minutes you get a break. Do you know? It's great. That's a real policy that I think about when I'm invited to go like on a river float or rafting or hiking or camping. It's I need to make sure there's at least one person. Like if it's a bunch of my friends who are really into fitness, it's going to be like, no, like I'm Fuck not going to go because I'm going to be the guy. Because I'm going to be the guy that you're aggravated with. So you need to make sure there's always someone at least fatter than you or slower than you or something to come along. So that then you can kind of co-opt the athleticism of the most athletic guy and like walk along him, <laughs> alongside him in front and be like, God, Richard you back there. Am I right? Big fat fuck. Meanwhile, you're like 
gassed, and the guy next to you is just hunky dory. Like, yeah, I wish we could just kind of break this into a jog, you know? And you're like, oh, I know, I know, right? like, but you know, we can't because they're richer. Well, let's jog I a little bit. No, no. <laughs> I wish we could Not without him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he um he struggled with that, and rightfully so. I for you know the the entry path that I took us on was was particularly uh rough. It was just up and over like limbs and fallen trees and through briars. Chase was and mad stuff. about it because we found a better entry path, and yeah. uh, and he was legitimately resentful <laughs> about the horrible yeah. path we took. I would pay for the thought transcript that he had over the course of those few oh, hours. <laughs> angry and Fuck resentful it. and Bullshit. fucking wings not uh, coming on the trip and now i'm here why am i even here god of course these guys like it they're from around here this is bullshit like but, just all the frustration i would love to see it to his funny credit he, this is this is what i like about him so he knew all this going in he knew that camping wasn't his cup of tea that he didn't want to be there that the heat the snakes the bugs etc but he valued the camaraderie and social aspect of it enough you know that going into it he knew how much he'd hate everything except hanging out with us and he's like yep i'll take it i'll do it and he did it so he had plenty of cigarettes he's a good guy so he, did, so he, he didn't did. have to worry about that for some I reason I, it, like it became my mission statement to like help chiz like get his fitness ship ship shape <laughs> well, no, no. He, what, it, it, what what he means is he took it upon himself to annoy the fuck out of chiz every time chiz lit up a cigarette <laughs> like, which like, was every so was, five minutes so like is that the last one and he's like i've made it pretty fucking clear <laughs> <laughs> that i'm gonna smoke until i don't have any more smokes and that will be the last keep one. in mind he's moving into my guest house at the end of this trip right like like he had quit smoking and then we go on this trip he starts chain smoking and Kyle will argue like, oh, no, no, no. If there's a one minute break between cigarettes, it's not chain smoking. In my world, it was fucking one after the other, sometimes two at a time. And it's he true. Smoking he time, he would he? light <laughs> one with the other one. That's chain That's, smoking. That's I, that I did is not chain. see that. I, I, I might have imagined it. setting up a combo right there. <laughs> so it, it, in my head, he's like lighting up, finishing it, throwing it out, starting the next one. And, uh, and he's got like, I don't, you can't smoke in my house. Like that's, that's a house rule, right? That's not an, un, a, an unreasonable rule. So I'm like thinking he needs to quit smoking because he's moving into my house in like two days. It's going to happen right then and there in a stressful condition in the woods when he's got, he's moving in my house though. two days later though. It's time to do it now. It's time to quit. Right here. Cause I know holding on to that's all it's keeping him from coming to your tent at night and just, <laughs> <laughs> I know that Kyle probably knows about, pretty much exactly how many cigarettes Chiz smoked on that trip. But before you say anything, Woody, how many do you think he smoked? Two Realistically. Packs. Two packs. Wait, how long was the trip? It had to be more than that. And so the trip was about five days, and I'm going to say he smoked four packs in five days. So uh, eight uh, cigarettes in five days. I would say he smoked at least one pack a day and, and probably more. So probably like six or seven packs in five days, something like that, you know? Wow, I expected the exact opposite answer. Yeah. I thought that Woody was going to say like, I don't know, 130? And Kyle <laughs> would be like, it was, it was like 18. The more you stressful know, but... the situation is, the more you're going to, it's an appetite suppressant, you know? It, it calms your nerves when you get jittery. It's, uh, it's something to do. Um, and it's, you know, if you've got, if you already smoke, it's it's one of those things where like, ah, I, was just, I don't have anything to do with my fucking hands. And then our cell phones wouldn't work. So you're just sitting there like, no Reddit, no fucking, it's, I'm melting. I wish I just had something. And, and a cigarette just seems so nice. I yeah, wonder, I, what, it made sense to me. So, so Chiz was a fish out of water there, right? Like, we should do trips where he's not. 